Session cards popping up in key battleground states. Some Republicans worried that the community group called ACORN may have something to do with it. In this week's oversight hearing, the chief public advocate for the Consumers' Rights League testified, quote, ACORN routinely, routinely says it will clean up its act, yet given its decade-long history of voter fraud, embezzlement, and misuses of taxpayer funds, ACORN's pattern of fraud can no longer be dismissed as a series of unfortunate events. John Fung, you saw that. You wrote a book about it. You're from the Wall Street Journal, and the name of your book is Stealing Elections. So, do you think they're going to clean up their act? I hope so. I hope they come forward and explain how they're going to clean up their act, but they've been pretty invisible so far. They've been invisible because last July it was discovered that the founder of ACORN, uh, who was still the president, his brother was a financial officer of the company and embezzled a million dollars. Mm -hmm. That happened a dozen years Shouldn't ago. Shouldn't he be in Washington? Well, here's the thing. <laughs> his brother embezzled this money a dozen years ago. They didn't tell the authorities, they didn't tell their own board of directors, and they kept the guy employed for 12 years until the scandal broke was the, only, was the time he was fired. I think Acorn has a suspect and problematical history, and I don't think they want to defend it. Okay, it's but let's face, they're doing the good thing. They're, they're wanting to get out people. Oh, I'm in favor them. of registering voters, but, but, but not but, this way. Right. They're so, legal voters. So for people who are not familiar with Acorn, what are the allegations against them? What are they doing wrong? They have had people convicted and a voter fraud in St. Louis and Kansas City and Seattle and several other states. Right now there's an active investigation of 37 of their employees in Wisconsin. There's a former employee who's under indictment for perjury in Pennsylvania. They registered a 14-year-old born in North Carolina. They're at best very sloppy and at worst perhaps, you know, tending, tending towards, I think, subverting the election laws. And I think ACORN is just uh, the tip of the iceberg in terms of the problems with voter fraud and voter irregularities we're going to see. This is the visible part with right. voter registrations. Wait till we get to the actual voting. Mm -hmm. And you're suggesting that ACORN, obviously ACORN is working on behalf of Barack Obama and the Democrats, but what's interesting about this, who exactly was ACORN's attorney? Uh, for all of their lead election law cases, it was Barack Obama, and Barack Obama was Acorn's attorney. Yes, and he was also their chief trainer at their annual conferences. What does that mean? Well, he was the guy who would teach them about community organizing. Hmm. Now, here, and Barack Obama has never criticized Acorn that I can find, mm -hmm. and I think I think he should step forward so, and say, I want people to vote, but I really call on Acorn to clean up its act. So, what's you your say challenge that. today, John? I think Barack Obama should come forward and answer questions about his association with Acorn and why, since it's very important we have a clean and fair election, why he isn't criticizing them and calling on them to clean up their act. And I think Acorn should step forward and explain what they're doing and explain how they're going to take steps to repair all this. Well, that's your challenge. They usually watch, I'm sure, if they're like the rest of America, stealing elections at the name of your book. It's all in there. Well, in the past, Acorn hasn't been exactly keen on debating me yeah. because, you know, why does Bologna <laughs> reject the grinder? There you go. Oh, all right. Stealing elections. Read all about it. John Fund. Always a pleasure. We thank you very Thank much. you. Hey, Geraldo.